was the last video that I made here? November 2nd, 2013? Holy shit! It's been over a year, guys! Well then! God damn da up! everyone that hurt my wrist! This is Mr. Straven here with another commentary! After a year of doing fuck all! I can't believe it's been this long, but the time I disappeared, the commentary community was kind of going into a slump and a lot of people were disappearing, and I kinda did as well because, eh, life! But now I'm back! Because this is new time! The commentary community seems to have kind of come back. It's making a bit of a resurgence, which is nice. Which means that there's new topics to discuss. New people to interact with. New discussions to have. And new friends to make fun of. That's the great thing about being here on YouTube. And I'm glad to be back to all you wonderful fucking assholes. So, what am I going to come back with? Well, let's see, I got this new video here. Ooh, new video, 2015. What topics are we talking... Um, uh, Guptill. Talking about... Guptill. Alright, I'm gonna level here and be completely honest about something that I feel about doing commentaries on old videos. I actually don't necessarily mind them, but only for two reasons. The first reason being is that if what you want to say about the video hasn't been covered yet, at all, or if it hasn't even been covered, period, and you figure, well, if no one's talked about it, I should. And the second reason being, and this is usually compiled with the first one, that it's still relevant to this day. If this video can provide some light on something that's currently happening now within YouTube or just in general, that's still relevant to this day and age and not back in that year, then yeah, go for it. I'm all fine with that. But this is fucking Guptill89 we're talking about here. Nothing, and I mean absolutely nothing, that he has made is relevant to this day and age. Do you know when Guptill was pretty much, like, the prime relevancy? That was back when M School had an account, and he doesn't fucking exist anymore. Do you know when his relevancy started to drop out? When I fucking made a commentary on him, and that was two fucking years ago! What's up, and welcome back to Raider 88 Commentaries. Okay, problem right off the bat. Why are you talking in such a low voice that makes everything sound like you're setting the tone for some smooth French jazz radio? I'm warning everyone. Hey, We're going to check on Go Play 9 again, but this time for the less annoying video. So, watch as I debunk every single argument this guy tries to make. Uh, no offense, or maybe all the offense, but this is Guptil we're talking about. It's not that hard to really refute him. This is on par with basic arithmetic, so if you fuck this up, it's gonna look really bad for you. You know, watching this almost feels nostalgic. I feel like after this I should watch a commentary on Joshua8428 or see what Christian is up to. Also, we're gonna be cutting right here because I don't want you guys falling asleep on me because this commentary is pretty boring if I didn't cut through because he makes no real points here. It's time to move on to other issues. Like nuclear missiles and atomic bombs and M4s. You know, it's fine we're talking about bombs considering that this com- No, do you know what? This joke is too easy. Just continue. Fuck the joke. And now skipping because he doesn't really make any point, and I use that term loosely, for a good minute and a half. The car has to be turned on in order for the openers to be operated, obviously. Hmm, I wonder why. Oh yeah, because it's electronic. So if it starts to rain or snow and your windows are open, you have to get your keys, turn on the automobile, operate the buttons, and finally turn off the vehicle. That's it? That's the main issue you have with cars? You have to get on the car to- You know what? I'm not even going to answer this one. What do you mean you're not going to answer this one? This is such an easy thing to counter. Watch! I'll do it. Guptil, why would you leave your car parked with the windows rolled down? Basic rule of owning a damn fucking car, roll your windows up when you park it because otherwise, yes, rain and or snow is going to get into it and it's also a lot easier to steal from you. And something I've never seen anyone talk about, by the way, whenever they commentate on this video, is that even with a crank, you'd still have to unlock your car. You can't reach in and roll the window all the way up with your dumb arm getting in the way. Seriously, this was such an easy point to counter and you passed it up. All you've done is just call this guy an idiot. I I don't see any arguing being done here. But what if you misplace your keys as well as a spare key? Well, if you misplace your keys, you lack responsibility. Say hello to a huge pile of cabin snow or big puddles on the seats if the car isn't in a garage. 
Thankfully, my house has a garage, so I don't have to worry about that shit. While misplacing your car keys is very rare, it still happens. If you have brain damage. Well, geez, way to be insulting there, pal. Don't ever tell me that you've never forgot where you put your car keys. I have. It happens from time to time. This has pretty much been your only point, by the way, in this entire video. And it's either a joke in bad taste or it's hyperbolic. Or both. Do you remember window crankers? They were better since you didn't have to go to all that trouble. Yay! A fucking nostalgia junkie. Yeah, I like nostalgia, but this is too far. They could be operated with or without the automobile on. But you know what's really sad? When I was discussing window crankers with my car dealer, he mentioned that only 2% of the auto industry use them. And yet people say that's progress? Yeah, right! You gonna explain why you're face palming? Nope, just gonna face palm and just leave us hanging there? All right, fine, but I just wanna say though that face palming isn't funny anymore. It's a cliche that should have been put out to pasture two years ago. Oh my God, why are we still living in the past? It's 20 fucking 15, people. By the way, if the car goes into water, the engine shortens out and you wouldn't be able to control the windows. Then don't drive to the fucking Water. Oh my god, this is fucking Hero of Tomorrow over again. Do you think that people actually drive into the water? The point that Guptill was making was about car accidents of people crashing into the water. Oh my goodness! Is everyone dumb as a fucking watermelon around here? And do you know what? We're gonna end the commentary right there. And do you wanna know why? Because I do not have the time or the patience to sit through the rest of this video, especially on a video that's so old. And I don't think you guys would have the patience for this either. Because the rest of the video is just insults or just rehashing old points that people have made and when I say rehashing old points I mean doing it in a very very flimsy way Raider 88 I'm gonna be honest right here you know at the end of your commentary you say too that the other Guptill video that you worked on was a lot more fun and see that's an issue right there that this isn't even your first Guptill commentary you hacked on another old Guptill video I'm gonna say this right now Guptill 88 is dead he's the dead topic we should just put him in the earth, and let's put a giant tombstone that says, rest in peace, Guptil 88, do not fucking dig up. I have seen so many people rehash and rehash Guptil 88, and I don't understand why. Do you know, I'm going to be very honest here about Guptil 88, and just how I feel about him. I don't think he's a bad person. Sure, he made that really horrible, sexiest Sonic characters list that was, yeah, a bit inappropriate, and his arguments are kind of horrible for technology just in general. But really, whenever I, I watch Guptil's videos, I don't feel like he's like a jerk or he's being rude. I've seen a lot. In fact, I've seen his whole, you know, video response thing to Youngblood Fantasy 91 back in the day. And to be honest, that was really well constructed, even though he was wrong. He's very polite when it comes to debating him. And honestly, I just feel like that we really don't need to keep rehashing a lot of his videos. But I understand why. And it's because... Arguing Guptill is easy. He's a very easy target to tackle for people, especially who are new to commentaries. But of course it's going to be easy to tackle Guptill. His arguments are fairly shy to begin with. And also I think it's pretty easy to refute Guptill's points, especially when, and I've noticed this when other people have made Guptill commentaries after the fact, is because they've seen commentaries of Guptill by other people. So it's kind of easy to mirror points. And that's honestly sad. Guptill is too easy of a topic to really refute. Before I end this video, let me talk to specific, specifically him. Aside from the whole, why are you commentating on Guptill thing, just in general, your commentary was bad because a lot of your points, which there were maybe like two, three, were really shallow in general. And there were points that were said by other people. And I'm not going to accuse you of the fact that probably you've seen them and you're just copying points here, but it definitely does feel that way. The rest of your commentary is mainly just filled with observations that are pretty obvious and as well as insults and some jokes that just aren't funny in general because they fall flat on their face. And I think that's really... It just makes your commentary look like one of those really bad third gen commentators in 2009 that everyone had a fit over. That's what I feel like that we're kind of having like a resurgence here. And I think that's something that we could probably leave back in 2009, 2010 here. So anyways, thank you guys for watching this commentary. And I'm sorry it's been so long, but hey, life is, you know, sometimes hectic. And considering the fact that I'm taking up your division classes in college, 
life is just sometimes hell and commentaries have to kind of fall to the wayside for a little bit longer, but I'm glad to be back. And don't worry, I plan to make some more commentaries. In fact, I have a lot of new stuff that I want to talk about because it's 2015 and I want to talk about new stuff. I want to make fun of new things. And that's why my next commentary is going to be responding to a video that's responding to me over a video that I made two years ago. Fucking shit. Anyways, guys, until next time, this has been Mr. Raven saying bless, chop, 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 and it's good to have the lunatic back.